you don't know Slovan and Slovan I don't style. know Slovan. Very well. I know very well, well Slovan. Very... held up to see by the fans, fans are always talked about. The players, what happens when a player has a bad game? What happens then? That's what I wanted to chat about. I want to see, like, is, is it ever justified to treat players like trash? I think there is never, ever an excuse to treat somebody like that who, especially in Xhaka's case, it must be in the world to him to be given the captaincy. Absolutely. But because when he got it, he was already treated as a bit of a unpopular character, it's made fans react worse to him and they heard Emery say he's in bits afterwards, of course he's in yeah, bits. And his mental health will suffer because Absolutely. of it. Absolutely, and it's a big age old thing, you cheer somebody on, it might help them play better. Yeah. You see somebody struggling, don't give them herds of abuse. I can't stand it, I, I, I actively avoid any sort of social media when I see a story like this come out because I, I just can't but it's, witness people. It's, it's, a minute, Ron. Mm. it's a bit of a shame you're resigning, isn't it? You know what that means, don't you? I don't have to honour your contract. Chairman, I couldn't give a damn about that. You made me commitments at the start of the season you haven't kept. Money was said to be available, hasn't been made available. I'm only too happy to go off to Spain. Spain? Yes, Spain. They tell me there's a couple of clubs need a good manager there. Adios. Look, are you going back to Atletico Madrid? That's quite possible, yeah. And have you got any final parting words for your Harchester fans? Yeah, hasta luego. <laughs> Bob, I've got it. No, 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 it's fantastic stuff. Big Ron's given me an exclusive. Yeah. He's off to Atletico Madrid. The problem that you have, the Arsenal fans now, like you said about Xhaka banging one in, he could do that. When you act like they have done, it opens you up to being called hypocrite, which I don't necessarily think football fans are hypocrites. They just want their team to win. But the problem is there's a very, very real difference between criticising someone because they've had a really bad game now or criticising someone because they haven't performed to a, the standard which you feel is necessary for your club. There's a big difference between the level needed to play for Arsenal than the level needed to play for Crystal Palace. Players have to realise they are icons and they have the influence. They are all influences through their social media channels and whatever else they do. So I think from that professional level, I think it's, it's, it's a, a unique, useful thing to have. And I think grow up fans should support no matter what. Absolutely. They should support. Like Ars up. Arsenal Fan TV. Grow up. Man marking the hot issues. Well, in Derby County, let's discuss Derby County. Destruction Derby. So we talk about taking responsibility in your actions. If, let's say, there was a there was a Jordan, there was a Jordan Lloyd who got done for drink driving, what would happen? Well, firstly, prison time. Ridiculous fines I couldn't afford. Lose my job. The back of my family would completely go. I'd do well to have friends. It's, everything's gone. It's all gone. And that, and that, knowing that is why I don't do things like that. No. Because I don't want to lose yeah. everything in my life. What this strikes us is Derby have looked at it and gone, oh, actually, he's the easiest one to make, uh, you know, do our PR standpoint from. Because he's 33, he's going to be out for a while. At that age, he's probably, that's his career then, you'd imagine. Okay. And certainly at that level. No. And Tom Lawrence was selected for the game yeah. the very next one. Yeah, the very next one, and, and, in, and in the Wales squad as well. Yeah, it's it's an, it's, I was it's a joke. Far, it's an absolute it joke. Is, it's an absolute disgrace. We talk about professionalism. We talk about taking responsibility. We talk about these players being icons. What the hell does that? What, what does it show? What does it really show? What are Derby doing in the start of the season? Yeah. Checking on a social where there's a bar tab available. I understand that they were supposed to go and do football or whatever at the start, and it was supposed to be a fun team building. But why on earth did that the official to the club let that descend it's just not into enough. madness? And they put they put cars onto them. Derby have, have just shown themselves to be an absolute jack. If you please enlighten me, I, I, I just don't see. I'd love to hear. I, I just don't see the logic on the other side of it. Hey, 
I'm open to suggestions about hearing another side of this. I, just, I can't figure out. I, I genuinely can't. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of open to it. And then the other part of me is just like, actually, we have got a different opinion on this. I don't actually want to hear from you because you're wrong. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. if if you think there's any other th any other course of action than, than drink driving, you get banned. You get sacked from the club. I don't care who you are. Derby could have made a massive statement here, and they could have done such a positive thing and said, "I don't care how good they are, how young they are, how much potential they have. The fact is, they got done for drink driving, and we do not want to associate with don't them." Give me the the As we Come talked on. about earlier, though. What Derby have managed to do, as we talked about earlier about fans' abuse of players, yeah. Derby's handling of this situation has basically given fans a green light to abuse them because they say, well, hold on, when they were just footballers and they're, they're playing, yeah, they're untouchable, but now they're allowed to be lawbreakers yeah. and get away with it. The story's bad enough as it is, and if, if there had been fatalities or anything like that, then, oh man, it would have been just an appalling. Absolute joke. playing with fire. We are 10 games deep into the season. We're not even at Christmas yet. We're not even there yet. And some people are freaking out. What's going to happen? I don't know. It's just too early to say. What have we learned? No players seem to be particularly ripping it up. There's 11. Chef, Chef United. Chef, Chef United have been doing very, very oh, well. You know, Liverpool and Man City leading away. Leicester, I wouldn't say it's a surprise, but they are, they're only two points behind Man City. Môže byť zajtra preslovan určitou výhodou, že ho ako mústvo uh, a ten herný štýl veľmi nepoznáte. We were eight games unbeaten in all competitions, which was top of all Premier League teams. We were eight unbeaten. OK, takže odpoveď teda, poznám slova veľmi dobre. OK. Sorry? After two games. After two games? No. We know Slovan. Slovan played last, last, last season. Now he played the, the group stage. We know Slovan. Slovan for sure knows us. There's no team that we're going to face that we don't know. There's not such thing for us in football. Does it make sense? Managed Europe well on a yeah. way for thin squad. I'm over the moon. We finished 12th and got added a good run at your own. I think I do it brilliantly. I think I do it brilliantly. I think I do it brilliantly. Takže poznáme Slován, Slován získal titul, Slován hrá Európu a nám sa nikdy nestane to, že hráme s nejakým súperom a to súper... Ja no, že Slovan and Slovan I don't style. know Slovan.